Hello, welcome to the product demo of Just Billing Android app for retail businesses like supermarket and grocery, electronics, gift and stationery, bookstall, and many more. In this video, we'll see how Just Billing professional version works for a retail business using an Android device. After login, you will be taken to the application dashboard. Icon present here are the quick access of most important features like invoicing, customers, products, inventory and expenses. Also, we can check most significant sales related reports. How to create invoices? Let us start with billing. Click on the blue invoicing icon, billing cut opens. You can see right side of the screen has all the product lists. Select products as per customer's choice. Swipe from right side of the screen. Product categories will open. We may also select from categories. Products can be selected by using barcode scanner. For Android devices, mobile or tablet camera works as barcode scanner. It also takes voice command. If you want to make changes in selection or quantity, simply tap on the product. A pop-up will come. Add or remove quantity as required. If you want to remove a product from the cart, simply hold on the product and swipe from right to left direction. We can give discount to customers. Discount can be as per amount or as per percentage that we need to mention. If the store runs any promotional coupons, discount can be availed by applying promo code. Click on proceed. Customer details page opens. These are not mandate fields. However, if you capture customer details, you will be able to run customer loyalty program. If it's a new customer, add customer's name and contact number. In Just Billing app, customer's contact number works as loyalty card. In case of a regular customer, simply search with name or cell phone number. System will fetch the remaining details. Click on payment. System directs user to payment mode page. Customer can pay via multiple payment option for one single transaction. Let's consider, for this example, customer is paying some amount by card and remaining amount by giving vouchers. These vouchers can be issued by the shop earlier or it can be a third party voucher like Sodexo. Once we receive entire payment from customer, tap on finish option to complete this billing transaction. Click on next invoice. Billing page opens for next customer. How to do delivery? Swipe from left side of the dashboard. Go to order. On top side of the billing screen, there's a rectangle symbol for sales order type. Tap on it. Select home delivery mode. Select products as per customer's need. Proceed to next step. Since it's a home delivery, details like customer's name, contact number and delivery address is mandatory to enter. Let's consider this customer is initially paying some amount via cash. Select cash, possible denominations will automatically appear on the screen. If customer pays more amount by cash, due is automatically calculated by system. Now, some reason you need to cancel the selected payment mode. Tap on the payment details and swipe from right to left. Let's consider now the same customer wants to pay by wallet. As we can see, most of the mobile wallet options are available with just billing. Select the wallet, finish the transaction. Other important features of billing. Top right corner of the billing screen has a dollar or currency symbol. Touch on it. Different price list will open. This price list can be specific to happy hours or festive season where product price will be different from default price list. Select some products of your customer's choice. Now, for some reason, customer might want to cancel his purchase. Go to extreme top right corner button, tap on clear. Your billing cart is empty now. Select products for your next customers. While billing, this customer might ask you to put the bill on hold as he needs to pick few more products. In this case, select the hold option and continue billing for other customers. Once the customer whose product was on hold comes back to billing counter, recall his bill, add or remove products and proceed to payment. If your business accept product written from customers, this return option will allow you to accept any product written from your customer with exchange or refund option. Customer Management 
Now we are coming back to dashboard. Customer option gives you the list of your existing customers with their contact information. You may add or edit it. Maintaining customer details helps to run loyalty program. Product management. Select product icon. Same way you will get the list of all your items with item details. Click on add to enter a new product. Inventory management. Let's click on inventory. Select a possible adjustment scenario like breakage, initial stock, loss, physical count, etc. Select products, put the quantity, click on proceed. Inventory will be updated shortly. Expense management. Expense option gives a list of expenses. Whenever any operational expense takes place, enter the expense details from this section. Put expense date, choose the category as per the type of product or service purchase so that you get to know how much you have spent for what purpose. Click on Save once required details are entered. This summarizes key feature of Just Billing. Application Settings If you go to the Application Setting option, from here you can customize Just Billing application as per your need. Like you can configure barcode scanner type, default billing mode, payment option which your business doesn't consider can be disabled from this section. Choose the bill delivery mode and configure settings. Subscription renewal. Click on my subscription. You can see how many days are remaining for the license to get expired. Click on renew option. Next click on get new subscription code. Choose your subscription duration and pay accordingly. Click on buy now. Tap continue. Choose payment mode, enter required details and complete the transaction. Once the payment is done, duration to use Just Billing will be increased. Support option would assist you to handle this app efficiently. For any query, check it in the FAQ section. If you need any more assistance, you can raise service request directly to us from service request option. Contact us for any query or assistance.